Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor website design course video series. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can create a single page template and we use that template to create this about us page. Now we are going to use the same template for all the pages throughout the website so that it will be easy to customize the template for all the pages. Now in this video, we are going to create the services page for this website. So let's go to dashboard. Go to pages. We have already created the home page, blog page and about us page in the previous videos. Now click on add new page. And let's name it as our services. As explained in the previous video, we are going to keep the template as the default template. Click on publish. And let me show you the page. It is using the single page layout. Right, we do not have any content here. Let's go back to the page and click on edit with Elementor. So we're going to use Elementor page builder to create services. We already have services created on the home page. So if I go to home page, you will see we have these services already created on the home page. All right, so if you want, you can simply copy this entire section and use it on the services page or you can create the services manually for this page. So we're going to create the same section again. So click on the plus sign, select the section, one column section. Let's add some padding. Click on the plus sign again, we are going to add a new container and the direction of container will be horizontal to the right. Click on the plus sign again and add a container inside a container and let's add new container so that it will create different columns here. So we're going to use three columns here. Let's go to home page and we're going to create the same services here. Now what you can do instead of creating the same services everywhere, you can create a template for the services and use that template for the home page as well as for the services page. So that in future, if you want to add a new service, then you can edit the template instead of editing the services on the home page and the services page. Just like the contact form template that we created in the previous video, we have used the same contact form on all the pages and if we need to make any changes to the contact form, we can simply go to the contact form template and we can make the changes there. Similarly, you can create a template for the services and use that template on home page as well as on the services page. But in this case, we are going to create the services manually for the services page. So let's go to the first column. In the first column, we are going to add image. So at the top, we have this image. Click on choose image. Let's add the first service image. If you want to link this image to a services page, you can simply click on link custom URL and you can add the URL where you want to redirect the customer after clicking on the image. Click on the plus sign and below that we are going to add title for this service. I'm going to copy the same title from here. Plus sign and add some information about the service. Let's center align it. And below that we are going to add a button. Read more. Let's change the style settings, make it full width, center line. And I'm going to select this column and let's go to style settings, go to border and add box shadow. All right, now we have this first service here. Now we need to create a page for this service and we are going to link this read more button with that service page. All right, so click on publish. Let's click on view page. All right, so this is our services page, which is still incomplete. Okay, now we are going to create a new page for the service. Okay, so let's go to dashboard, click on new page. And the name of the service will be project visualization. So this is going to be the name. I'm again going to use the default template. And for the parent, I'm going to select services. All right, so this is going to be a sub page of the parent services. You will see a different URL structure also. Let's publish it. 
and let's view the page right you will see the url structure we have the url of the domain then we have our services and after that we have project visualization which is the url for this particular service so this service is a sub page of the services page right let's go to page click on edit with elementor click on the plus sign and create two column let's add some padding for this section here I'm going to add some content for the service. I'm going to use some dummy content here. Right now here I want to add image for the service. So drag and drop the image and select the image for the service. And below that I want to add the form. Now we are going to use the template for the form. So search for template, drag it and drop it below the image and search for contact form template. All right, so you will see contact form is added. Click on publish and let's view the page again. And this is going to be a services page. Now, whatever content you want to add on this page, you can add according to your website requirement. You can also add some buttons going back to other services or you can also add other elements on this page. Okay, so this is one of the services page and I want to link this page with the services listed here. Okay, so you can copy this URL, go back here and go to read more and you can paste the URL here. So if someone clicks on it, it will go to this particular page. Similarly, you can select the image and select custom URL and paste the link here. Click on publish. Let me show you how does this work. Let me close all the other windows here. This is our services, refresh it. All right, if I click on read more, it will go to that particular service. Go back. If I click on image, it will go to that service. All right, now let's go back. Now, instead of creating all these services manually, I'm going to create a template for services and I'm going to use the same template on home page and the services page. So let's delete this one. All right. So we do not have anything on the services page. Let's go back to dashboard. Go to templates. Click on add new template. Again, select section and let's name it as our services. So this is going to be a common template which we are going to use. Click on create template. Close this one. In previous video, while creating the home page, I have shown you how you can create all these services. So I'm going to copy the entire section from here and add it on the our services template. Simply paste it and you will see the same template is there. You will see the animation is also there that we added in the previous video. Click on publish. We have this template ready. Now let's go to home page and delete this section from here. Okay. Click on plus sign. Add a new section. This will be a full width section. Let's add the padding zero margin will be zero. And click on plus sign. Search for template drag it and drop it here and now search for our services which is the new template that we created so if i select the template you will see the entire section will be added here let's publish it i'll show you how does this look go to view page all right so you will see the entire section is there similarly on the services we are going to add a new section it will be full width zero padding zero margin click on plus sign and look for a template drag it and drop it here search for our services and this entire section will be shown on the our services page if i go to view page you will see all the services are listed here now, if you want to make any changes to any services, you don't need to go to home page or the services page and edit them separately. Instead of that, you can go to template 
and from there you can make changes to the template let's say i want to add link to this button so now this time we are not going to use the url for this newly created page instead of that we are going to use dynamic tab so i'm going to select the name of the page that we created this was the name that we created click on this button instead of using the link directly to the button we can use dynamic tags so that even if you migrate the website from one domain to another domain you don't need to replace the url manually on each page instead of that you can use the dynamic tag select internal url so this is going to be the internal page that we already created click on internal url type will be content and here search for the page that we created so you will see the page will be listed there select it now this button will be linked to that page do the same thing for this image also select the image select a link custom url go to dynamic tag select internal url click on it type will be content and search for service page that we created let's publish it now if i go to services currently there it is not linked if i refresh it it will be linked so if i click on it it will go to that page similarly if i go to home page the services will get linked automatically so we are editing the template instead of making changes on each page so one by one you can add other services let's create one more service here go to new go to page let's copy this name this is the name of the service again parent will be our services so it will be a sub page of the services publish it edit with elementor now i want to use the same layout for this one also so i'm going to use two columns click on the plus sign add image for this service then look for the template for the contact form click on the plus sign and add the content for the services click on publish let's view the page all right so this is another service page let's go to our services template select the name or copy the name of the service that we created go to button again go to dynamic tags internal url type will be content search for the same page that we created and link it with the button same thing for the image custom url dynamic tag linked click on publish let's go back to home page this is the second service that we created if i click on this image it will go to that page if i click on button it will go to that page all right let's add the services in the main menu so let's go to dashboard appearance go to menus select our services click on add to menu change the position and save the menu let's go back to website you will see our services here click on it you will see the second service is linked so whatever changes we are making on the template it will be applied on the home page services section as well as on the services page also all right in the next video we are going to create a gallery page for the website i'll show you how to use the gallery images on the website do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.